The universe is a vast place, stretching endlessly like a dark ocean beyond the mountain. It is an infinite canvas of stars, galaxies, and light dancing across the sky. Each year, technology advances and reveals new secrets hidden in the shadows of space. Our curiosity grows stronger, pushing us beyond the clouds with each rocket launch. As we discover more, the universe grows deeper, pulling us like gravity into bigger questions. What is existence really made of, and where did all this dust and flame begin? How did the cosmos start, and what future waits beyond the stars in the valley? In 1929, a breakthrough changed everything, when science uncovered a truth burning in starlight. The elements inside US, iron, oxygen, and calcium, were born in the heart of fire. These building blocks of life formed inside stars, then spread through explosion over the plains. We are, quite literally, children of stars, sharing the same atoms floating in the desert air. By 1957, it became clear the night sky holds history, written in each glowing speck overhead. Each constellation tells a story, traced by ancient hands on the canvas of night. Even the dark patches have meaning, whispering of secrets not yet known by city telescopes. The sky is a mirror of our origin, showing where we came from beyond the hills. It is also a map of destiny, guiding us with lights shining above the river. Still, the cosmos holds secrets, wrapped in energy and motion we barely understand. Why do planets form and stars burn, and what purpose lies beneath the surface of sky? What if the universe was different, shaped not by chance but by purpose from the forest? These questions spark the fire of science, philosophy, and dreams inside observatories and labs. While we ask, Events unfold above U.S., massive and silent like shadows across the mountain range. One of these is Betelgeuse, a bright red mystery lighting Orion's shoulder near the field. For centuries, Betelgeuse shines steady, a red lantern guiding watchers through the winter frost. But recently, strange behavior began, as the star flickered and dimmed above the lake. This flickering suggests a catastrophic event, perhaps the final act of a giant in the cosmos. Betelgeuse is a red supergiant, a true giant whose size dwarfs even the desert horizon. If it replaced our sun, its vast body would stretch beyond Saturn, devouring the inner sky. Our sun would look like a tiny dot, a pebble on the road compared to Betelgeuse's mountain of flame. Located 640 light years away, it lives in Orion, a bold warrior marked in sky and myth. When we see it, we are looking into the past, 640 years back through the window of time. Traveling there with current technology would take millions, longer than any story told around campfire light. Even from afar, it is studied closely, for Betelgeuse does not behave like stars near the sea. Most stars are stable and quiet, but Betelgeuse breathes and pulses like a living thing in a cave. Its brightness changes, growing and shrinking like tides of light on the cosmic shore. This is due to its outer layers expanding and contracting, a rhythm that echoes across the starscape. But in late 2019, it dimmed far more than ever before, stirring rumors across every observatory. Was this the sign of a supernova, a final explosion near the cliff edge of space? To understand, we must know how red supergiants live and die, growing unstable as fuel fades. For millions of years, Betelgeuse burned hydrogen, fusing it into helium deep within its fiery hull. Now the hydrogen is nearly gone, and the star moves into a more dangerous stage in space. Its core contracts under gravity, heating until helium ignites, forming carbon, oxygen, and more within the furnace. This phase is violent and unstable, causing bursts that ripple through the star like wind across snow. The star also loses mass in strong winds, shedding itself into the night sky like petals in wind. Its surface grows unstable, layers shifting wildly and signaling the end is nearing beyond the hilltop. Scientists use photometry and spectroscopy, tools that catch light and split it across a lab table. They build simulations with computers, modeling fire and fusion as they test theories beside the monitor. One fascinating process is stellar convection, where hot plasma rises like steam in a glowing kettle. These currents shape surface patterns, and sometimes even cause vast eruptions across the star's desert skin. Betelgeuse's heartbeats in pulsations, 
a balance between gravity's pull and energy's push in deep space. But this balance cannot last, and when the fuel ends, gravity wins beneath the mountain stars. The star will collapse into itself, then explode in a supernova bright enough to light the beach at noon. It will outshine entire galaxies, a brief flash across the heavens echoing through forests and skies. In that instant, it will seed new elements, throwing iron, oxygen, and carbon across the fields of space. These will become new stars and planets, and maybe even life on another distant island of sky. Until that day, Betelgeuse remains a window, a classroom written in starlight above the canyon. It teaches us about death and rebirth, about power and fragility written into the star's glowing eyes. In Betelgeuse, we see our own story, made of dust and energy walking the trail of time. A cosmic reminder that we are stardust, breathing life born from flames above the mountains. Subscribe to our channel and thanks for watching.